Hi, my name is uh, Ayao Komatsu, uh, Director of Engineering at Hase Fan Team. Uh, I'm Naomi Yoshida. Uh, everybody said Yoshi, and uh, I was born in Tokyo. My name is Hiroshi Tomitsuka. Uh, I'm coming from Japan, Tokyo. I'm working uh, for Kevin's car uh, at Hase Fan Team. Um, I'm originally from Tokyo. Here I look after the truck side engineering and also some engineering functionality in uh, Bambari factory. I'm a tire engineer for Hase Fan Team. Then yeah, my job is uh, yeah, doing an analysis for relating everything tires uh, to and suggesting the tire usage strategy, everything, so to get the best performance from tires. Ah, it's always special because, again, especially because when I started watching Formula One in the late 80s, that was Suzuka was always a title decider, both 88 and 89, with the crash in the skin and fast corner shunt. That was a title decider, so always had it. That image never leaves me as a sort of like iconic McLaren Honda versus a Ferrari or in a Prost Senna in the teammates one year. So I always had that as like a, my iconic image of F1. So to go back there for the first time actually working as an F1 engineer was uh, so special. Not so much special uh, compared with other races, but uh, uh, yeah, I feel a little different, especially when I arrive at the airport. So because uh, there are a lot of Japanese signs and also I could hear a lot of Japanese conversation and so many Japanese working there. So yeah, the, oh, yeah one, one thing is that I could pass the immigration much faster, much faster than everyone else. So yeah, that I feel a little bit super special for when I go to Suzuka every time. I haven't been to three years back to Japan uh, since before COVID. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to Japanese Grand Prix. Yeah. Um, favorite memories now, I think that 2013 really was the great memory because I wasn't expecting Roman to lead the race. I was a race engineer and he had a great start. I remember watching him going into town one leading. I was like, I had to tell myself I need to calm down. You know, we got, uh, we got long race ahead and he was, you know, but you know, we are up against faster Red Bull with a uh, better and Weber behind. So of course, you know, two car against one car, they can, you know, play tricks with us. So we knew we were up against it, but we had a good race and then we finished on the podium. So that was very special. Yeah, my biggest memory is uh, 2006 in Suzuka race. So yeah, I remember, so Michael Schumacher dominated uh, uh, races uh, with our tires, but uh, he, retired due to the engine failure. So it happened just front of me. So I was really disappointed the Michelin. The, at that time, I, we lost a race and also lost the opportunity to be the champions against the Michelin. So yeah, that's uh, my biggest memories in Suzuka. Uh, yes, uh, uh, in 2005, I, I was working uh, Nova Engineering. This is uh, my first time working in motorsport team. This team both uh, gave to me F1 ticket, and then I went there. And uh, Kimi, Kimi Raikkonen, he overtook uh, 17th car, <laughs> and he won. And uh, yeah, it was great, great race. October in is one of the how can I say one of the best season for sightseeing in Japan. So. Autumn leaves are so beautiful for, for instance, Kyoto area, something like that. So yeah, it, it's not, not too hot, not too cold. So the ambient temperature is perfect. So near Suzuka uh, uh, has uh, Kyoto and Osaka. This two big city has a very nice uh, castle and nice building and also food is uh, nice. And so maybe after rest or before rest, they go into there, then maybe they also finding uh, some Japanese good culture and uh, food and uh, so. Ah, I think uh, in near Suzuka, I mean, not very, very close, but still not too far. There's a great historical city called uh, Kyoto. And then it just, uh, that, that has been the capital of Japan for thousands of years. So, the old temples are there, old traditional Japanese culture that are 
probably European or non-Japanese people would imagine what, what Japan's like is there. So that's a great place to go. And also autumn, the leaves change colors in Japan. It's amazing. So if you go to, I don't know, if you get to the countryside, mountains with colors, it's amazing. So yeah, there's a, if you want to experience modern city, Tokyo is a place, but historical city, Kyoto, and then we've got amazing nature, and the autumn is a great time. So take your pick. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, so Japanese one is so special for me, so I'm really interested, I'm really looking forward to meeting you, so yeah, let's see. Uh, we will do the best and try to get good results, and so yeah, just uh, please cheer up for us, please. <laughs> Thank you.